a questo dialogo. Thank you very much. Um, it is an honor to participate to this debate, uh, which is extremely stimulating. I read the memorandum and I noticed that uh, the priorities you've identified embody current challenges. And these priorities meet two needs. Uh, number one, provide support. Uh, material and non-material support, support that goes uh, uh, towards uh, justice, social justice, equity, and also spiritual support, which is of the essence, and also to support uh, younger generations uh, uh, to to get center stage and to be heard. So I think that the heart of this topic is our capacity to listen to younger generations' voices. In the memorandum, I read that there is a, a, um, an ill-being pandemic, uh, and uh, this was happening uh, prior to the COVID outbreak, uh, and the pandemic uh, simply exacerbated it. So thinking about this pain and thinking about this uh, discomfort and this ill-being, Pope Francis last year asked scholars to set up uh, a university called the Università del Senso, Universidad del Sentido, University of the Meaning. And uh, the focal point of, of, of the university curriculum is the ability to listen. Uh, so. The ability to listen is number one, and uh, it embeds all the meanings mentioned earlier, empathy, compassion, closeness, proximity, etc. The other key word is creativity as a response, as a responsible response to current challenges, uh, as an engine for, for change, and last, Celebration. Celebration is, a lot, is the third word because what we receive is a gift and so we need to be thankful and we need to be grateful to life. Thanks very much for listening.